Earlier I did a video showing how I put this uh, Moxon vise kit together from Benchcrafted and I did some modifications to the vise a little different and then I added this back table and I've actually had a lot of questions about this back table so I thought I'd make a real short video just showing you how I put the table on and then actually what I'm using it for for hanging it up which is going to be here on my assembly table. Now the table itself couldn't be any simpler. I mean, you're going to be doing long grain to long grain glue joints, so all you got to do is just glue it onto the back of the vise here, and then of course this was just simply glued on as well. As I explained in that other video, I made this piece here fairly thick. It was an offcut of this larger chop uh, because I wanted a lot of stability because I actually plan on chopping the dovetails on there. In fact, I've been doing that and using this table a lot. If you've seen my project videos, since I did that video release, you know that this is almost uh, always the center of every video. Now, I wanted a place to hang it, and it tends to be really heavy on this side because of the vise. So when you're carrying it like this, it's actually not too bad. At least all the weight is below you. If you're carrying it from here, then it's kind of wanting to pivot, and it's a little hard on your wrists, that type of thing. So what I ended up doing is I wanted to hang it here. I, I used to have this shelf here. I put my router fence on it and I had a couple other things. Generally it wasn't anything terribly useful. I could put it in a better place uh, since when I originally came up with this. But what this is hung with are some simple French cleats. Now what a French cleat is, is you're going to take this board and you're going to set your bevel on your table saw to 45 degrees and you're just going to rip it down the middle. So what you have is you have one piece that you're going to probably be able to see a little bit of here. This part here, you can see that there's the bevel right so the bevel angles towards the back whereas this one here the there's the gap between the bevels so of course when you put these two together they mate perfectly and it even snugs it up against the back wall but it's really easy to take take out now this has been there for for years now so I've taken this off since and I put a matching bevel on the back here of the Moxon vise on the back of the table you can see that I ripped a board and then simply uh, screwed it in that one I screwed in thank God for the uh, right angle chuck on the CXS and now with this what's nice is that I typically use it here on the assembly table or sometimes on that side depending on the height I want um, when I want to put it away you just grab it this is the easiest way to do it set it down and I'm done now to put, pick it back up it's also very well balanced this way again because all the knobs are on the bottom and you're done. Now I rotated it with my wrists on that one but really it's very easy to just push it up and lay it down. So it makes it uh, very easy to put away, very easy to take back out. So I don't tend to leave it out all the time or I won't talk myself out of setting it up because it's too easy. Now my table is about two-thirds the length of this chop. I chose that simply because I sat I had just done a bunch of dovetail drawers so I set up a little corner on my bench to figure out how much room I needed and for me doing the chopping this was actually just perfect. So it could be longer. Now again this is just a simple glue joint so uh, I could easily take some more of this stock and some more of this stock back here and just add on over here if I wanted to. I'd have a little seam but you know who cares it's just a table for chopping on. So uh, but it does make it a little bit nicer for me in the sense that uh, normally I use this a little bit more towards the edge of my bench so this gives me a little bit of room here for parts and such doesn't take up quite as much space it also reduces the weight a bit so pick whatever size you want it's very easy though to add on so you could always go a little on the smaller side and see if you need the, the larger size later